In first question, we have two shaded portions out of four. So we write two is two out of we have one, two, three, four. Two over four. Second question, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shaded portion out of total nine because one is not shaded. Therefore, we write eight over nine. As you can see, total nine. Third question, we have four shaded portion. So we write four over eight because eight total pictures. Only one, one over four. Next, we have one, two, three. Three shaded portions out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three over seven. Next, we have four, four, eight. This one, nine. Nine over twelve. Four into three, twelve. Here we see all the shaded portions. So we have how much? 10 over 10. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Total number of portions we have 1, 2, 2. How much? 9. Next we have 4 out of total 8. In this picture it is clearly seen half of the scene. Half of the picture is shaded therefore 1 over 2. Second question says, color the part according to the given fraction. According to the given fraction. So first question is 1 over 6. Total 6, we have to paint one part of it. So here we paint from green color. Second is 1 over 4. Here again, we have to paint one part out of 4. So you can paint any of it. Let's paint middle one. Third says 1 over 3. Let's paint one with blue, center one. Third says 3 over 4. So we have to paint 3 out of 4. This is what we are doing in these fractions. Last one says 4 over 9. There are total 9. And we are going to paint 4 out of them. You can paint any of them as we stated earlier. Next question is, identify the error if any. So we can see in the first figure, we have two parts, but they aren't equal. And it says this is one over two. So we can conclude since these are not equal, both parts aren't equal. So this is not correct, therefore false. Moving to the next figure, four parts have been done. But as we see, two are equal only and two other are equal only. Therefore, it is also wrong. Third, we have four parts. This part is the largest one. This is smallest one and other twos are also different. So this is not also equal fraction of a whole. Therefore, this is also wrong. As it is stated, it is not the same as stated. Therefore, wrong. So answer would be, parts of that is parts of a whole need to be equal that's what we have learned from the lesson of fractions therefore parts need to be equal for fractions that should be your answer therefore all the three figures have error in describing the fraction fourth question is what fraction of a day is 8 hours? So we are given with number of hours, that is 8. We have to find fraction for 8 hours in a day. That is what fraction of a day is 8 hours. Now, number of hours in a day is 24. You know that very well that there are 24 hours in a day. So, therefore required fraction would be number of hours that are 8 in number over number of hours in a day. That is the whole part, 
total 24 hours are present in a day. So putting values we get, what we get, in place of number of hours, we'll place 8. And a number of hours in a day, we'll place 24. So that is your answer. Next question is, fifth, what fraction of an hour is 40 minutes? Now, we have to find fraction in terms of minutes. That is, we are given with total number of minutes, 40. And what we have to do next? We have to know total minutes in an hour, that are 60. Therefore, required fraction would be minutes over minutes in an hour that we have calculated as 60. Therefore, the fraction becomes simply and we write as 40, that is minutes we are given with over 60, total number of minutes in an hour. Remember, always find in terms of part that goes to the denominator part. Here we have 60 and know from the question that fraction of an hour, fraction of an hour in terms of minutes. Therefore, we converted hour into minutes and that went to denominator part. So, this is how 40 over 60 came. So, this is your answer. Question 6. Arya, Abhimanyu and Vivek shared lunch. Arya has brought two sandwiches, one made of vegetable and one of jam. The other two boys forgot to bring their lunch. Arya agreed to share his sandwiches so that each person will have an equal share of each sandwich. So first, let's look into the problem. Arya brought one veg sandwich as stated in the question, vegetable, and the other one of jam, that is, of jam sandwich. So, solution would be, we want to share equally into three parts. Equal share means equal three parts. So, how are we going to do it? We are dividing it into three equal parts. Assume it to be equal. And similarly, we'll do it for the jam part. We are going to divide it into three equal parts. Again, do assume it to be equal. So, first part is, Arya divides each sandwich into three equal parts and gives each one over three part from both sandwiches to his friends. For the B part, each boy receives one third part as shaded above. Veg part, that is one by third of that veg part, similarly for the jam part. So this was the answer. Question 7. Kanchan dyes dresses. She had to dye 30 dresses. She has so far finished 20 dresses. What fraction of the dresses she has finished? So this is the question. Now we are given with total number of dresses, that is 30. As you can see in the question. Number of dyed dresses is 20, that is, she dyed 20 dresses. Therefore, fraction of dresses she has finished would be equal to dyed dresses over total dresses. Dyed dresses because we are asked to find the fraction of dresses she has finished. Therefore, she has finished comes into the numerator part. So, putting the values, we have 20 over 30. 20 came from dyed dresses and 30 came from total dresses. Therefore, reducing it into the simplest form, 0, 0 cancels. So, we get 2 over 3 is your final answer. Question 8. Write the natural numbers from 2 to 12. What fraction of them are prime numbers? So, we are required to write natural numbers from 2 to 12 and we have to present them as a fraction based upon prime numbers. So, natural numbers are those numbers which starts from 1 and goes to infinity. That is countless. So, these are all natural numbers from 2 to 12 and these are total 11 in number.
we just counted it. So prime amongst them are two. This is the smallest prime number. Three is also a prime number. Four is not because divisible by two. Five is a prime number. Six is by two and three. Seven is a prime number. Prime number are those numbers which are divisible by one and themselves only. Therefore, 11 is the last one. So these, we have total five in number. So a fraction of prime numbers would be prime over total numbers. That is five over 11. That's what we have done. So this is your answer. But by the way, we were required to write all the natural numbers from two to 12. So all the numbers in green are natural numbers. Natural numbers. So this was your answer. Question nine. Write the natural numbers from 102 to 113. What fraction of them are prime numbers? So, first of all, let's write all the natural numbers from 102 to 113. So, we have written all the natural numbers from 102 to 113. So, we have total number of 12. Now, we have to find prime amongst them. So, first number that is prime is 103. 104 is not. Then we move on up to 107, it is a prime number. Then we see another that is 109, the last one, 113. So we selected total four. So fraction of them which are prime, so it would be the prime numbers that are four in number over total number of numbers that is 12. So four over 12 is the answer. 10. What fraction of these circles have x in them? So we are given with eight circles. We have to find fraction. So circles having x in them, there are four circles which have x in them. Total number of circles, as we said earlier, eight. Therefore, fraction of circles having x would be circles having x, that is four, over total eight. Therefore, four over eight is the answer for the question. Last question, 11th. Kristen received a CD player for her birthday. She bought three CDs and received five others as gifts. What fraction of her total CDs did she buy and what fraction did she receive as gifts? So this question has two parts. Number first is what fraction of her total CDs she buy? That is how much she bought that we have to find fraction of it from the total. Second is, she receives as a gift from the total that makes our second question. So, solution is, CDs she bought as stated free. CDs gifted as stated above five. Therefore, total CDs she has now, that is three plus five, that gives you eight. Therefore, she has total eight CDs. So we are going to solve first question, fraction of her CDs. So she got three CDs by her own, that is she bought it. Out of, she has total, that is eight. That is question asks, what fraction of her total? Therefore, in the denominator, it comes eight. Second question, fraction of her gifted CDs. Gifted, we have five. And again, we are asked out of total. Therefore, total, she has eight CDs. That is, it makes, 5 over 8. So, this is how it is done. 